Hello everyone, it is Natalie with Crochet by Natalie Lucille and today we are going to make some earrings kind of like a teardrop. So I have a jump ring on this one and one not on this one. So your choice and so those are some of the materials that you will need are the fish hook and the jump ring. And because I have short hair, I really like having dangly earrings. So these are perfect for me. I have some purple thread yarn that I'll be using. And when you are finished with this project, you will need to put the fabric stiffener on this. So you have um, your, I guess, material. Let me move that so it doesn't lose focus um, doesn't lose its shape you do need a tapestry needle and I'm using a tiny thread hook for for your thread yarn hooks I guess you could say so let's go ahead and get started create a slip knot which is folding over Pulling up like that. You're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And in this first space I, here you are going to work eight treble crochets so the way you do that is you're going to yarn over twice like that and you're going to insert the hook in the first chain here so you insert yarn over draw up a loop so you have four loops on your hook yarn over through two, yarn over, through two, ah. it goes in there, yeah, so I still have two loops on my hook, I've just got to separate those, there we go, so there's your two loops, and you're going to yarn over, and draw through those two. So that is a treble crochet. And you're going to do a total of eight. So you're going to work in that same space. Yarn over, draw up. So you have four loops on your hook. Well, that didn't do that again. Yarn over, insert into that space, draw up. Yarn over, I think, hold on a second, I'm going to switch on a light, there we go, I think I didn't go into the right space, let's try that one more time, yarn over twice, insert, Yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. So we're still working our trebles. Yarn over, through two, through two. And through two. So we have three made so far. We need five more. We're still working in that same space. That's four made.
So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more. And this is the only time in this project that you'll be working a treble. Everything else is double crochet. And one more. And this is the base. Just completed. So it'll look like that. So it kind of fans out like a shell. Now we are going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to turn our work. And in that same space that we just turned our work in, we're going to work a double crochet. So it's in the same space as the chain three. Now we are going to chain one. And then in each of the trebles, we're going to work a double crochet. So we've just chained one. We come to our first one here. We're working a double crochet and chain one. We're going to do that again so it's yarn over. Insert into here. Can you see that? Yarn over, draw up, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. So let's see. You're going to come into the next treble space, and so you can see where you're going to insert your hook right into here. So it's yarn over, insert right into this space here. Turn over, draw up, through two, through two, chain one. So you're going to come into this space right there. So it's yarn over, insert into this space, yarn over, chain one. Chain one, and we're getting close to our end over here. Let me make sure I'm doing, so you have two, one. So I'm coming up to the end. Okay, so I needed five, and so I am at the end over here, so I want to work a bit of a cluster so you're going to go into the chain from the very beginning and you're going to yarn over draw up pull through two and you're going to do that again in that same space now you have three loops on your hook and pull through like that chain three Turn and then in that same space, double crochet. So it goes right into that same space as the, the chains that you just worked. Now we're going to be working in the spaces. So all these spaces here. So in this first space, you're going to work your first cluster. And so that, the way that you do that is yarn over insert into the space, yarn over, draw up one, yarn over, pull through two, and you're going to do that again. Yarn over into this space here, yarn over, pull up, yarn over through two. So we're going to work into that space. We're going to do this a total of five times. So we've just worked two, now we're going to work our third one. fourth one and fifth one just like that so you can see how it looks I'm hoping you can see it 
yarn over and you're going to pull through kind of turn your hook down just so it can go through it a lot easier and you just pull right through like that and you're going to chain one to secure it and then in the next spaces you're going to work four double crochets one in each space so you're going to come to this next space here and you're going to work a double crochet and you're going to chain one to create that space come to the next space here insert into the space then chain one insert into the space chain one chain one so you've created the four and then in this last space here you're going to do another five double crochet cluster so it's yarn over insert into that space here and you're going to do that cluster a total of five times three still working in that space I know it's a tight fit but it all comes together just like that chain one to close it and in that last space here I know it's kind of hard to see you're gonna work a two double crochet cluster basically or you're going to do two together so it's just like this then you're going to pull through all three chain three and you're going to continue this pattern all the way to the top and it's going to kind of decrease as it goes along and it so this row was four now this one's going to be three so you're going to double crochet into here and then working past the first cluster in this space here, right here, you're going to work a five double crochet cluster. So into the space, there's one, two, three, four and five yarn over draw through all chain one and then you're going to make in these spaces here one two three double crochets chain one of course in between each double crochet there's one two and oops three oh let's do that one again Oop. right into that space there if you can see that and then you're going to chain one and then right into the next space before the next five part cluster you're going to work a cluster one two three four 
five, close it up, and then in this last space after this cluster here, you're going to work the chain or double crochets together. One, and then work another one. There, and you're going to pull through all three, just like that. And you're just going to keep working all the way up, same kind of pattern. Each row becomes less and less. Turn into this same space, a double crochet, chain one, right past this cluster here in that space a five part cluster one right into that space two I know it's hard to see maybe with the light you see how it's starting to work out three four Go through that one. I didn't go through the second one. There we go. And five. Yarn over and draw through all. Chain one. And then you have the two spaces here that you will work the double crochet chain one. So in that next space, double crochet, chain one. crochet, chain one, and you've come to write the next space in between before your next cluster and you'll work a five part cluster here. So all in that space. Still working it. like that. Yarn over, draw through, and then chain one to close it. In this space, this part here, not in the space, but in the actual stitch, you're going to work the double crochet together. So it looks like a, basically like a two-part cluster. Just like that. Chain three, one, two, three, flip, and into that same chain three space at the base of it, double crochet, chain one, then again right past the cluster here, you're going to work a five part cluster, one, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, draw through, chain one. Next space here, double crochet and a chain one. There's one double crochet, chain one, and in the next space here, a five part cluster. One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over through all. Chain one to close, two part cluster or double crochet together at the very end. Chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work. 
double crochet in that same space, chain one after I get through there, there we go, chain one, work a cluster into this space here after your cluster, if you can see that. I don't know if maybe bringing it closer helps or if it'll stay in focus, out of focus. Just work in that cluster in that space here. And a little bit one more. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think I need one more. There we go. Yarn over through all of them. Chain one. Next space here. Cluster. Five part cluster. Ah, we gotta do that all over again. It's nice how it just pulls right on out. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, four, and five. Maybe it'll stick this time. There we go. Yarn over through all of them. Chain one. I'm really liking this purple. And then, of course, at the very end is the double crochet together. One, two, together. Then chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work into that same space here. Work your double crochet. Chain one. Right in between that cluster and that little chain one space there, <laughs> you're going to work a cluster. It's not too bad. After you've worked all of them, you're a pro. Two. Three. Four. And five. Chain one. Bring do your um, double crochet together at this end here. Just like that. Chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. And again, you're going to double crochet into that same space. Chain one, and you're going to come to this end here and do the double crochet together. And then you're going to chain three, turn your work, and in that chain one space, you're going to work almost like a cluster because you're going to pull up that loop and you're going to come to this cluster over here. Kind of brings the top to a point. And just like that. And that's it. Kind of, And then once you use your fabric stiffener, 
you can kind of pull it into the teardrop shape even more so. So there you have it. And then what you'll want to do just kind of looking at the, the shape of it. It kind of did the little wonky there. Like it's wanting to kind of twist on me, which I kind of like. Like almost if I stiffened it and had it kind of like a real teardrop like that almost. Maybe I'll, that's exactly what I'll do. Just kind of turn it. Hey, I, I like that. Huh. I didn't mean to do that, but it sure worked out that way. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of has a little, I like it with it turned a little bit. Huh. Well, once I do the fabric stiffener, I'll kind of put my pins in it because I use, whenever I use the fabric stiffener, I'll use my pins to hold it down in place and stretch it. So I may do this and kind of twist it a little bit. Huh, that works out. Learn something new. So this, all you want to do is weave in your ends. And when you use your fabric stiffener, you want to use it on the wrong side. So that one kind of, so I would use it on this side here and kind of stretch it. You can move it. You can even have it at a angle, anything that you would like. So there you have your teardrop. This is after putting the stiffener on it. So you can kind of see how it looks. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And click on that notification bell because I upload regularly and you don't want to miss a video. So learn something new today. See you later, guys. Bye.